What's going on guys, Ronnie here. Welcome back to our channel. Today we have episode seven of what's hot in Canva. This is the series where we teach you what's new in the Canva library and what are the new features really in the product. So without further ado, today we have a jam packed episode with one photographer highlight. I know you guys like these. So we have a new photographer for you today to follow and to be inspired by. We have three new template categories that I want to share with you. And we will have at the end of the episode one new Canva feature. So stick around until the end and let's go. All right, let's start with our photographer highlight. I know you guys like these and we have something new today. So for you to try. So her name and it's very difficult to pronounce. So I'm going to try my best. I have been rehearsing all week long for this moment. So her name is Evgenia. I hope I pronounce it right, Evgenia. If you're watching this, you're probably not because you're busy designing and creating new photos, but that's her photography art. So look at this, guys. This is super colorful, super trendy, super vivid colors. And I think you are going to have some fun with these photos and this photo collection because she is really gifted. So I believe she is from Slovenia and her Canva profile description here reads creative director, photo and video, GIF animator, camera girl, minimal and surreal aesthetics, color addict. I specialize on pop art photography, funny video content, GIF animation, flat lay and creative collage. I professionally work with colors. Yes, I can see that. Color is emotion and use my minimalistic visual art for fresh, bright and bold ideas. Be free, don't be shy, stand out from the crowd. My design will help you. So definitely like fresh, bold, standing out, pop art and popping from the page really. So I really encourage you to discover Evgenia's work and photography. I don't know if she's also the model of all the videos. I don't know if that's her. It seems like it's her, but these really caught my eye in the library. So one novelty here as well is that there is now a follow button. So I believe you will see this follow button if you're using Chrome as your browser. So if you see this follow button, by all means, follow Evgenia like I just did so that you will be able to surface her content more easily in the library. Otherwise, I will leave a link in the description of the video to access her profile page and all of the photos will be available right there. So again, if you are here and you want to start using these photos, let's say let's find one that I particularly like. I like this one with the straw. So I want to use that different ways of doing so. You can heart and like this photo, for example, and then it will be placed in your likes folder. You can view the folder either from the home page or from the Canva editor directly. So that's one way. Or the other way, you can click on the photo, right? And then you will arrive on this page right here where you can add the photo to a folder if you click on this button, or you can use this in a design. So if you click here, Canva will ask you which design, let's say you want this in an Instagram post. So you click here, it will open in the editor. And from here, if you want to access everything else from Evgenia, what you will have to do is to click on the photo, use the little eye info button right here, and then see more by Porechenskaya. Okay, Porechenskaya. Getting good at pronouncing her name. All right, and then from here, because you're seeing more of the same photographer, you will have access to everything she does here on the side panel. So this is how you use these photos. Again, I will leave a link in the description for you to use. That was this week's photographer highlight. I hope you liked her. Show her some support by following her on her Canva account. I believe this Canva follow button is relatively new. I've seen some people talking about it in the Canva creator program, and now I see it in the Canva homepage and the Canva library. So by all means, this probably means that we will soon be able to follow all sorts of photographers photographers and creators. So very looking forward to this. All right, moving on to the second section of this episode that is showing you some new templates in the Canva library. So one thing that you have to know is that Canva is adding a multitude of templates every week. And I'm sure we are adding new templates every day. We have so many people working at Canva on creating templates. So what I'm showing you here is just the tip.
tip of the iceberg. By all means, go there, discover, pay attention to what's new, pay attention to Canva social media accounts as well, because there is a lot of announcements being made there. But here I want to show you three new template categories. The first one is for all of you guys who love to stream video, play video games and are active on Twitch. So Twitch, for those of you who don't know, it's a streaming platform. It's very popular among gamers, but it becomes much more than a, a gamer's platform. And now everybody's streaming all sorts of video content on Twitch, which is becoming a very important platform. So Canva is following up on this trend and you can search for Twitch kit. And so once you get there, you will have a, this collection of templates and I will talk about the different document types in a second, but you will see a collection of templates and a lot of them are video templates, meaning they have videos in them, they have animations in them, but all of this will help you pretty much boost your Twitch channel. So what you will see from the get go is that there are different types of visuals. You will see square ones like this. You will see kind of presentation ones or video style ones like this one. You will see banners and then you will see overlays. So this is to cover all the types of visuals that a creator needs to leverage on Twitch. So I have made a little list here. So you have your profile picture. So this typically will be a profile picture for Twitch. You see yellow and black topography, abstract, tactical Twitch profile picture. So uh, this is one type of document that Canva made easy for you. Profile picture, another one here. They are easily recognizable because they are squared. Okay, there is another one here. So the first document type you will find in this Twitch kit is the profile picture. Now, apart from the profile pictures, Canva also developed other sizes of document for you to start streaming on Twitch or to upgrade the visuals on your Twitch channel. The first one is simply a video size template with some moving animation or even some videos going on. So for example, you have this one starting soon. So this is typically a template that you would use at the beginning of your video, announcing that you are going to start streaming very soon. Another one here would be back shortly. So maybe sometimes streamers and gamers are in the middle of a like Counter-Strike game and they have to go to the bathroom. So what do you do in this case? Well, you pop in the back shortly. Uh, template. So these are the video ones. There is also another type of video template. So this one right here, which is a webcam overlay. So I'm going to open this one so you can see what it is. You see, so typically you would use this overlay and have your webcam here in the middle. So you will export this as a PNG with transparent background, which is a pro feature, but the gray rectangle here would just be out of the way and you will have your webcam overlay you will put this on your Twitch channel so that your webcam will show within this gray rectangle, which is pretty cool. So different types, as I was mentioning, of video size templates for the purposes I just mentioned. You have also all sorts of overlays like this one. So you can have your social handles. So all of this is super useful for people creating content for Twitch. And then there are two other types of doc types. So the first one is the banner for your channel, purple and black neon sci-fi Twitch banner. So the Twitch banner is similar to a YouTube channel banner. So that's the big visual you will have on top of your channel. And then there is one more visual, which I was not super familiar with, but I figured out what it is. And that is the Twitch panel. So a Twitch panel, like these ones, for example, are additional visuals that you can have to include specific calls to action, to just incentivize your audience to take action. So for example, here you have about, donate, subscribe, schedule, rules, etc. So it's not your channel banner, it's called a Twitch panel. So I searched the definition, what is a Twitch panel? To be honest, I didn't know. So if you're new to the streaming world, a Twitch panel is used as a call to action or an info banner under a user's live stream. The purpose of a panel is to provide some more information about a user's stream, or it can be used as a way to direct viewers outside of Twitch platform with an external link. So there you go. You know what a Twitch panel is. You will be a little bit smarter after watching this tutorial. Thank you, Ronnie. All right. So these were the first templates I wanted to show you. How do you find them? You just simply type in Twitch kit. Okay. Don't forget the kit. 
because otherwise you will have some random Twitch stuff mix, mixed up with other types of templates. So that is the first one I wanted to show you today. All right, I want to continue to surf on the video creators wave and show you another type of template now available in Canva that will help you as a video creator. And I'm talking about the YouTube intros. So if you type in YouTube intros like so, you will have a bunch of templates that are mostly animated. So they contain animations or even videos for different types of uses on YouTube. So for example, you see here an end screen. So the typical YouTube end screen where you will position your two videos here and your subscribe to the channel button here. So this is very cool. You will have some YouTube intros as well. So this is what it looks like. So you see, it's a pretty neat already intro or outro for your videos. So yeah, basically you find here, similar to the Twitch toolkit, you have a YouTube toolkit, but just search for YouTube intros. Here's another one. So that would be for a recipe show, for example, a culinary show on YouTube. So that was pretty cool. Let me show you one more. That's how it looks. All right, so I think you get the point. You have YouTube intros, you have outros, but you also have these end screens that are very useful for YouTube. And then the last one I want to show you is this one. So this one is a more simple, minimalistic YouTube outro where you can have subscribe, watch more, and then you will position your next video you want people to continue watching on YouTube. So that is what I wanted to show you again to find these type YouTube intro. All right, there is one more template category I want to show you quickly before we move on to the Canva new feature. By all means, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, that's what I'm gonna say. All right, moving on to the last template highlight for this week. And what I want to show you is some desktop organizers or organizer. It works without the S as well. And these are a bunch of wallpapers that you will be able to customize and then download. What I like about this is that you can really like pretty much change your desktop almost daily, right? You kind of customize it because you will be spending your day if you're like me working on your computer and you can really use your desktop as a an organizer you, you organize your thoughts so let me show you one for example you have this right here it says lectures assignments reports research so that would be typically for a student and then very important you have your motivational quote to keep you going through the day so you can here very simply start adding some text you can change the color to something darker and then yes the stuff you need to read, for example, you can also change this font for something smaller. And then you can start typing the stuff you need to read, like Ronnie's biography, all right, etc., etc. you know, like important books. But uh, jokes apart, this is quite useful for organizing your day. Let me show you another one. This is for typically a student. There are some more artsy one, if this is your vibe. So personal, miscellaneous to do work. You might be adding a photo, maybe a photo of your girlfriend. If that makes you happy, I'm going to add one of Diana's emoji here to make me think of her when I work. For example, this one, she looks cute here. Okay, so you can do something like this to keep you in a good mood when you're working on your computer. Let me show you a few more because there is some nice diversity here. One that I particularly liked, it was quite like this one. It was quite like peaceful colors. Yes, and it had my work files, my personal files, miscellaneous, urgent task, and then a quote. So this would be more appropriate for me when I work at Canva, I have different files that are coming to my desktop every day. And then every day I clean my desktop and I, I delete some screenshot that I took, etc., etc. But this is really useful to start organizing your files. So that's the third template that I wanted to show you to get there, type in desktop 
organizer. All right, and to wrap up this tutorial, I have one new Canva feature to show you guys today. It is a new photo effect and it's called Code Art. So let me show you how it works. I'm going to open an Instagram post. So I'm here in the Canva editor in an Instagram post, nothing special about this. Let me show you how it works with a photo. So I'm just going to be using a photo. Okay, and let's say, well, let's use a photo of myself. So I'm going to go to my folders, find photos of Ronnie, something fun like this one, for example. I'm going to make this slightly bigger so we can really see what's going on. Okay, let's use this. So now to find code art, you will have to click on your photo with your photo selected. Go to your effects. Okay. And if you scroll down a bit, you will find code art. It's possible that if it's the first time you are using code art, it will be here in your you may also like section. OK, so you will have to click on it and then connect it to your Canva account completely free. This works for free and pro users. So yes, code art. So what is code art? It's a special effect that will transform your photo into bits of code, actually. And if you guys are familiar with the movie The Matrix, this is exactly what it is. So let me show you. I'm going to use the last one right here. This is Matrix. So I'm going to click on this one and it's going to apply the effect to my photo. You see what's going on here. You also have some settings in Code Art, so you can actually augment the number of columns to make the design a little bit more visible, like so. So you see, you can transform any photo. So this is a cool little effect. I'm not saying you are going to use this every day. Just wanted to show you how it works. So you can apply it like so. And I'm going to use a different kind of visual. I'm going to use one of my Bitmojis here. So using the Bitmoji tab, let's find this one. Okay, I roll. Mm. Uh, okay, so I'm going to crop the eye roll text and I'm going to focus on the Bitmoji like so. Okay, so I have this very similarly. Just click on it, go to your effects and then find your code art. Click on see all and you can use whatever you prefer. I'm going to try a new one. I'm going to try grayscale this time. So you see your photo has been transformed into bits of codes, so letters and numbers uh, to generate a nice, nice, like stylized portrait, I would say. So you can again play around with the settings. So the number of columns, which will refine the more columns, the more precise will your design look. If you go all the way to four columns, you just get nothing. And then slowly the design resembles the original. Okay, then you have presence, which modifies seems like the color of the lines and then you have transparency. All right, and this wraps up this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned a thing or two about what's hot in Canva. Try the things, play around with them, create beautiful designs and continue watching our channel. I will see you guys in the next video.